Hi guys, my name is Michelle and welcome to my channel. I make time-lapse videos of how I did my paintings. Today I'm painting a friend's adorable Maltese boy. He's a sweet dog and he has such a cute, happy and smiley face. I've only painted dogs in oil twice before. The first one being this and second this. Both of these are on 7 by 9 cm mini canvases. So this would be the first time I was painting on a proper big size painting surface. And this is wood panel by the way. The surface was primed with gesso and I learned that it's better to also oil prime the surface before the actual painting. So here I laid on the colors which were mixed with one part liquid and one part sensodor. This was on day one. On day two, I put another layer of phthalo blue in the background. For the dog, I put in different shades of greys, but they are of darker value than the actual reference photo because I was going to put more layers of fur with lighter value on top. Usually I start a painting from the eyes, somehow for this I started with the fur. And when I reached the eyes, nose and mouth, I kind of fell into the mistake of trying to paint too detailed for this initial layer. So this part took me about 1-2 to two hours, I think. This is day 3 where I put in the final layer for the eyes. It's not showing very clearly on camera but I was putting lighter black or should I say very dark grey around the outer circle of the iris. This is to show the curvature of the eyeballs. Painting dogs' noses is always fun. I love the last part where I would put on some highlights to indicate the wetness of their adorable noses. Now it looks like too dark around the nose but after I put on the white fur on top, it'll look natural. Here I was adding on some details to indicate clumps of fur.
After this session ended, when I looked back at the painting, something just wasn't right. I realized that I have made a mistake. Can you tell what was wrong? Where was the mistake? It was the tongue. The center line of the tongue was slightly off. Also, the shadow part was not dark enough, so I had to repaint the tongue. So this was day four, and I was finishing this painting with further details of the fur. Using the fan brush to soften the fur before adding the brightest grey. It's close to white already, but it's not pure white. I usually don't use pure white on the painting. Even the highlights on the eyes are not pure white. I always add a little black in. make another mistake in this painting, a mistake most artists would know to avoid. That is, I ought to take a break and come back to check the painting with a reference photo. I find that I have often too engrossed in the painting process and forgot to check the reference photo with a pair of fresh eyes. For this painting, the right cheek of this dog should have been rounder. I only realized this after I have completed the whole painting, so this is something to remember for my future paintings. I really enjoyed painting this adorable Maltese boy. I hope you enjoy watching this video too. Please do like and subscribe to my channel so I can make more. And see you in the next video. Bye!